Okay, and welcome back to another tutorial for Kodu. In today's video, we're going to be making a two-player game where the two different Kodus try to race to collect as many apples as possible. And once they get a certain number of apples, then it'll be game over and whoever collected the most will win. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how this game works. So in this example, I'm just going to, con going to control the red Kodu and I'm going to collect a couple apples. So I set it, the limit is 3, so as soon as this red one gets 3 apples, then it should display the game over screen. So let me go ahead and collect one more. If I can get the last one. Wrong way. Oh my goodness. Alright, so finally heading toward the apple. Alright, as soon as I get 3 apples, then it displays the winner, and it displays my team color. You can adjust this to different numbers of points. But let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can code this using Kodu. Okay, so to get started making this game, let's go ahead and start by adding some more land to the area. So I'm going to click on the paintbrush, and then go ahead and click and drag to add some more land. Okay, that should be good for now. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more with the decoration. So I'm going to click on the object tool. And let's go ahead and start by adding some trees. So I'll click on the ground, select tree. Let's do a big tree right here. And then maybe a couple smaller trees around the area. So there's a smaller tree. And let's get one more tree right over here. All right, good. Let's add one hill into the game. So to do that, I click on this button right here, and we'll add a little hill right in the middle. And let's add some apples into the game now, so back to the object tool. Let's click on the ground over here. We'll put an apple there, maybe one behind this tree, and one more here. Now what the heck, we'll add a couple more. There we go. And let's add our Kodu on top of the hill right here. Alright, so that looks good for the landscape and the decoration. So let's go ahead and work on the coding. To code this Kodu right here, I'm going to right click and then press program. The first thing we'll set up is let's go ahead and set up some controls to move uh, the Kodu. So under the wind section, I'm going to select keyboard. And then for the part of the keyboard, let's go ahead and use arrow keys. When I press the arrow keys, what I'm going to do is move. And let's have a move quickly. All right, let's go ahead and test that piece and see if it's working. So I'm going to press the play button. And just use the arrow keys to move Kodu around. Okay, and it looks like that part of it's working. So let's go ahead and press escape. And we're going to continue working on coding. So I'm going to press program. The next part, let's have Kodu, whenever he bumps into an apple, let's have Kodu eat the apple. So win. And then it's going to be bumped. What Kodu is bumping into is the apples. So that should be under objects here. And then select apple. So when Kodu bumps into an apple, what it's going to do is eat and then you can say it. So whenever Kodu bumps into the, into the apple, he's going to eat the apple. So let's go ahead and run the program. So now I'm going to go and try to bump into one of the apples. So let's go after this one over here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to run into the apple. As soon as I bump into it, then it disappears because Kodu has eaten it. So I'll try one more over here. All right, good. So that part of it looks like it's working. So let's go ahead and continue now. The next thing I'm going to do is, in addition to eating the apple, let's go ahead and um, add a program that says whenever it bumps into the apple, uh, it gets a point. So under Program, for the Win section, we're going to use the same part as here. So we're going to say Win Bumped, and then Apple. And then for the Do section, what we're going to say is Game, and then we're going to add Score, 
We're going to add the score to whatever color you like. I'm just going to choose the red team. And the amount of points we're going to get is 1. Okay, let's test this now. So whenever I bump into the apple, it's going to do two different things. It's going to eat the apple and also give the red team one point. So if you want to set this up as a multiplayer game, then you can have another Kodu or another robot. And then whenever the other robot bumps into an apple, you can set the score for a different colored team. And we'll probably do that in just a second. So for now, let's just go ahead and run the program and see if it works. So what I'm checking for is whenever I bump into the apple, it should disappear because it's being eaten. And also I should get a point. So let's go after this apple right here. Okay, I see that I got one point from eating the apple. Let's try this one over here. Okay, two points. And one more try. And good. So that part of it looks like it's working. So let's go ahead and add another Kodu into the game. So I'll click the other Kodu and we'll put them up here as well. All right, so I'll change the color of this one. So to change the, oops, looks like he ran away from me. So let me click on this Kodu and get him back up here. All right, so to change the color of the Kodus, all you have to do is click on it and then use the arrow keys to change the color. So we'll make one for the red team and let's make another one for the blue team. All right, let's go back and code the blue one now. So let's set up the motion controls first. So keyboard, this one's gonna be controlled by WASD and it's going to move and then quickly and then we'll quickly go back and do the bumped part. So bumped, and then objects, apple. And let's go ahead and eat it. And also when it bumps into the apple, it's going to get a point, but this time it'll add the point for the blue team. Okay, so what we did is basically the same thing for the fo first Kodu. The only difference is instead of adding a point for the red team, we just added a point for the blue team. So let's go ahead and try this out now. So I'm going to move the red one first. And I'm going to try to get this apple right here. Okay, so I added one for the red team. Let me control the blue Kodu now. And I'll try to get an apple. Okay, having a little trouble. Here we go. All right, and it looks like it's working. So when the red one touches an apple, it adds one point for the red team. And when the blue one touches an apple, then it adds one point for the blue team. So I think the last thing we'll do for this game is we'll add an end game. So we'll say whichever robot gets maybe three apples, then that robot wins. So we'll press escape and we'll start with the red one. So program. Down here we'll say win scored. And this one we're going to do red. And then we're going to compare when this is greater than, let's do greater than two. So after it gets more than two apples, then what we're going to do is say game, win, and the person that wins would be the red Kodu. Okay, let's press escape and we'll do the same thing for the blue one. So down at the bottom, scored, and then this is going to be for the blue team. We're going to compare greater than, so when our points is greater than two. What we're going to do is game is going to win. This time it'll be for the blue team. All right, so let's go ahead and test it out. So this time I'm just going to control the red one. So there's one. There's two. And let's go ahead and go back real quick and check to see what happens. So it should have been when it's greater than two. So let me just check the program. 
Oh, and here I selected greater than or equal to. So if you want it strictly greater than, then all you have to do is change that to, looks like it'll be this one here. So when it's above two points. So let's try that again. Okay, there's the first apple. And let's try to get this one over here. Okay, so there's two. And then I'll have to get one more for it to end the game. And so whenever I get more than two, it'll do this end screen where it says winner, and then it'll display whichever team won. Okay, this is a very basic version of this game. You can customize it and add a lot more to it. But this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.